The city of Twinsburg continues to add businesses that help it rank highly in national publications year after year. Sassy's of Twinsburg is the latest addition to the thriving restaurant and bar scene in that city. We had a chance to speak with the owner and we asked, what makes Sassy's different? Stephanie, thanks for coming on today. Let's talk a little bit about, you have opened your own place here in Twinsburg and we're gonna get into the uniqueness of it here in a little bit, but let's go back in time. You're not new here, you've been here for quite a while. Tell us about a little bit of your history back in Um, I probably worked in this area around four years um, at another bar in town and uh, just got a good following doing that, knowing the people out here and I really like the customer base out here. And, and I can vouch for the fact that when I used to come visit you, there were a ton of people there. Is that one of the reasons why you thought you may want to strike out on your own? Because you brought a lot of people in there. Yeah, I just saw kind of what worked for other people and what didn't, other bosses of mine, and just thought, why can't I do this, you know? So I saw what worked and what didn't. And it's a big undertaking to do something like this. How difficult was it for you to make that final decision that, yes, I'm going to do this, come up with a capital, that sort of thing to do it? Well, luckily I have uh, some very generous uh, relatives, and my aunt was generous enough to say, listen, I'll back you, so go ahead and take the plunge, and um, I just did. It was a big decision to do, but uh, you have a shelf life as a bartender. Yeah. So I got five more years, and I don't want to be behind the bar anymore. Okay, now let's get specific on here. This is kind of a cool location right on the corner like this. Was this a difficult, I mean, did you look at this spot right away? How'd you pinpoint where you wanted to go? Uh, there was quite a while of just looking around town and stuff because I knew I wanted to be in this area. Um, this was in receivership, mm -hmm. uh, this whole plaza. Um, now it's under new ownership, but it was a long time of negotiating the lease and because I felt strongly about this, um, about this location. And now that you've been through this process and you look back, were there a lot of hurdles or do you think it went pretty smooth for you? There was a lot. It was a <laughs> huge, huge learning process. Um, but as far as the building, I mean, this was four walls. It was a daycare before this, and, right. and there was nothing here. So everything you see is brand spanking new, pretty much. Um, my parents are builders, so I'm familiar with the um, building process. Right. Um, but to see it all and to basically be like a general contractor with all the permits and regulations and everything that had to go through, that's all new to me. Mm -hmm. um, but. You just kind of go with the flow and uh, my parents were huge help to me and so was my boyfriend Anthony he kind of did everything around here and right. my dad came and built the bar and so it was really family oriented when you put this thing oh together. yeah I mean I I wouldn't have been able to do it without them my dad built the bar in Michigan in pieces wow and all the shelving and brought it down and, and you know they basically they did a lot of work I learned to do a lot of things too okay cool now let's talk about this specifically because what gets me about this place is when you walk in you suddenly don't feel like you're in Twinsburg anymore there's a certain mm -hmm. look to it there's a certain vibe to it that isn't familiar with your hole in the wall bars or your Applebee type places mm -hmm. or your chains and that sort of thing. Where did you come up with the you know the look, the, the feel of how you wanted this to look? And, and, and is that something you came up with or did you have help with that? I did have some help with that. Um, my mom was a huge factor in that. She's an interior designer. Oh, there you go. Um, so I mean really I'm from Ann Arbor originally and they came down here all the time to help. And my mom did a lot of stuff there as well. I knew the feel of it that I wanted and she helped a lot to incorporate that and, and make that happen. Um, there were certain things I couldn't go without here, like the lighted floor. Um, right. I met a great guy, uh, Cutting Edge Concrete. He's in Richfield. His name is Greg. And he did the floors out front. And there were certain things that I just didn't, that I had to make room for in the budget mm -hmm. because I just, I wanted it. And if you're going to do it, do it right the first time so you don't have to go back and do it again. You Let's know? talk specifically now before I get into maybe the menu. This is a great place, and I've been here already for, you've had a comedy night, I think you're having one coming up on March 11th, which is yeah. a Sunday, which mm -hmm. is great, because there's nothing really else going on in town. It's, this bar is set up for different things like that. Would mm -hmm. you not agree that you oh, can really sure. do a lot of different kind of fun functions here that are different from what everyone else is offering? Yes, very much so. I mean, it's a neighborhood bar, and the fact that I have, um, you know, my blue collar guys come in here, and I was worried that I was stepping it up too nice to mm -hmm. where people wouldn't be comfortable. And I, I hear classy, but comfortable. Right. And they like it, and they feel at home, and all my pricing is, uh, you know, roundabout like the regular neighborhood right. bars. 
um, and, and it's good, but, you know, again, built the stage so that we could have entertainment. We have a jam night on Tuesdays, and we always have live music on Saturdays, and every other Friday, and then once a month, we're doing the comedy show, um, which is pretty cool, because Sunday's a slower night, mm -hmm. generally in a bar, and then you get all these people out here, and they come, and, and all of the bands that have played seem to love playing here, because as far as Twinsburg goes, um, there really aren't too many places that have a stage, right. an actual stage that can accommodate instead of just putting them in a corner, corner or right. something. And so it's been a really good response. Yeah, that's by my the question. What kind of feedback, not only from the bands and the comedians, because we were here that night, but your patrons, have they been really happy with the way this is all set up? Yes. I mean, I really, it's been amazing how people, every, the public has responded. I mean, this is a growing place. This isn't a chain. This isn't a place where you just open the door and you have a menu and you have a style and you have a logo and you have everything. This is from the ground up, mm -hmm. every bit of it. Um, it's in its infancy right now and it's only growing. I don't have anyone that comes in here and says, oh my God, I hate this place, I'm never right, coming back. Right. They all like it. It's a matter of people just experiencing it and coming in. Well, let's finish with a couple of nuts and bolts things. Where have you picked up most of your staff? Are they, do they live mostly around here? And and what kind of menu do you have? Is it, a, you know, what kind of variety? That's we have a very, uh, very simple menu. Okay. Um, the menu is created um, because we're more of a bar than a restaurant. Mm -hmm. But uh, I believe in good food to go with that. Um, it's it's more of an experience here. Okay. So you come in and it isn't just you stop in or whatever. You you have an experience with the girls, with the bartenders and the waitresses. Everyone's very personal. Um, there's a few girls that I brought with me from another bar I worked at in town. Right. Um, and the, and it's I noticed a great... you, you spend money on things like the sound system, that sort of thing. It's really mm -hmm. a clear. It's, it's not too loud of a bar either, unless yeah. you want it to be. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, it's if you're going to build it, build it right. Yeah. You know, there's, this stuff is set up for long term, so I can grow and my place can grow and my customer base can grow. And um, the, the menu is simple in it of itself, and um, but it's quality food. There's, uh, you know, you can get a burger, but it's good breads, good cheeses. You but, know, I, fresh but, I, but I get out of you, this is more of a social happening here, coming to your friends, that sort For of sure. thing. For sure. Well, we're in almost mid-March, so I, I assume that you're going to have something going on at St. Patrick's. Why don't we plug that real quick? Oh, well, it's <laughs> going to be big. It's our first one. Um, there's all kinds of specials all day long, and then I have a live DJ slash VJ, so there's videos right. for every single song you can possibly want. Um, and I'm gonna have all my girls here and they're gonna look super cute and um, it's just gonna be a good time. It's one big party. Well, give us time. When are you open? 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Uh, and, and what are your normal hours so people can uh, 11 a.m. until 2.30 a.m. Okay. Every day of the week except for Sundays, we're open till 10. And but we have food until 1 a.m. Um, six days a week too. Okay, and I guess last, let me throw this at you, have a curveball. Why should people come here? What, what, what do you think is the main draw versus going to the umpteen other places in Twinsburg? Why should they come I mean, see you? come in one time and you tell me. I mean, you come in, you'll like it. I guarantee it. If you don't, you don't. But I don't have anybody that comes in here and doesn't. Try it out. It's something different. People get tired of the same old thing. Well, I love it because, again, it's unique. Best of luck to you. I hope everything's a success. And uh, it's a classy-looking place. Good luck to you and Sassy. Thank you. Thank you very much.